What is going on you guys? Moving day is tomorrow as I am recording this. We have been moving things around left and right, cleaning every which way we can. This is the last night we're gonna be here, you know, which I guess technically it'd be cool to just relax and enjoy our last night here, but we're doing everything last minute. We're cleaning and moving stuff around. I mean, obviously I'm not doing anything right now because I'm filming, but I personally wanted to come on, say hello and <laughs> document one more time in this house. I won't do one more little video recording in the house because I know I'm gonna regret it one day if I don't. So much stuff, honestly, just so much stuff. We're moving, we're, we're moving, and we're not just moving down the road, we're moving out of state, you know? It's, it's a big deal, we're, you know, we gotta, we've had to get rid of a lot of things, we've had to get rid of a lot of memories, unfortunately. We're keeping some, there is stuff we've kept, but we've had to, we've really had to knuckle down and do things we don't really want to do. But this is a huge move for us, we wanted to do it, and we're doing it. Big experience, and I'm person, it's sad, I'm gonna miss this this house so much. I really am. It's been the last 20 plus years of my life. This is literally where I grew up. This is my childhood. I started becoming an adult here. Call me whatever Call me whatever you want. Call me ridiculous. Call me cheesy. I don't care. This is where I grew up. I'm going to miss this place, but at the same time, I am ready for the next chapter. The place we're going, I could not look forward to it more. I don't know how long it's going to be if this goes up on YouTube or if it's just going to be. I personally want to just document this for my own memories. I mean, if it goes on YouTube, it goes on YouTube, that's great. Depends on what actually goes on YouTube, but I seriously don't care right now. This is for me. I gotta get back upstairs and do some more cleaning, but I had to film something. I plan on recording most of this trip, but we'll see how things go. Well, goody, as far as I can tell, you can only see silhouettes around me. And of course, there's the battery sign. Well, that gives me a sign that I shouldn't ramble too much. I just wanted to let you guys know that we have made it to Kentucky, our new home. It's actually been over a week since my last clip, but between all the traveling and just everything involved with it, I just, I personally didn't feel like picking up the camera. I could have, and I'm sorry, but I didn't. But anyways, I'm here now. It's crazy, guys. It is so gorgeous here. I'm in love. I'm honestly in love. It's beyond insane to know that we've we've done it we've moved it's all crazy people are super nice around here it's such a small town it's so cool everybody knows each other and they've been a great help and <laughs> I, i've got nothing better to say it's just the scenery is endless all the hills and the mountains we live on a freaking hill i mean it's my dream come true to live in a place like this just however i will admit biggest twist of all we are here in kentucky but my journey has yet to complete. I'm still going to Alabama. I'm going to Alabama in just a few more days here. I do love it here, guys. Do not get me wrong. I, I feel like there's a lot of people that are gonna go, well, you don't love it there. This is the country. This is what you've always wanted. I know, I agree. And I do genuinely love it here. I cannot stress that enough. But my heart is still calling me to Alabama and it just so happens that I can still go down there. So I'm going to. And for all I know, give it a few months, I may be back up here. 
I don't know what the future holds, but right now I still have an opportunity to go to Alabama, so I'm going to, but technically the new home front is here in Kentucky, so I'm happy about that. We're all excited. We're all, you know, still getting moved in. I still don't know exactly when I'll get a video up, when I'll even get this up, but I'm happy. I am genuinely as I walk through mud because it just recently rained today. <laughs> so interesting fact, actually, I will say something off course to my rambling. We did not actually know that they have copperhead snakes up here or down here. Did not know that. I mean, I'm used to like garter snakes in Wisconsin, like those teeny tiny little, you know, innocent ones. They'll, they'll creep you out, but they don't do anything. Copperhead, a venomous big snake. I mean, it's not huge, I guess, but it's bigger. It is decent sized and it's ven venomous. And when we got here, you know, the yard is cleaner now. It's, you know, we, we raked up all the leaves, but there was a ton, there was a ton of leaves and we did not know that they can camouflage really well. They can hide under all those leaves. And I was running around this backyard with the dog day in, day out for the first couple days. Thankfully, nothing happened, mind you. I will stress that nothing did happen, but Oops. I was the whole time I started raking those leaves. I was like something's gonna come up. I'm gonna see a snake I know it's gonna freak me the hell out It didn't. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? They do have a hibernation season and I do believe that is we are in the middle of it right now There there may be a couple of them out and about from time to time. Of course battery died I'm just gonna wrap up this clip and then hopefully see you in another one before I go to Alabama But anyways to finish up my story by the way winters are a lot shorter here I mean, a lot shorter. That is one big plus to not living in Wisconsin anymore, especially in Kentucky. My family also mentioned just a couple days ago when they were here that they, they said it wasn't too long ago that they actually saw a black bear, just one solo black bear run right through their yard. I mean, we, we got stuff like that in Wisconsin, but I've never seen a bear run through our yard. Like that's usually like way up north Wisconsin. We were Southern Wisconsin. That's like way, way up north. But I guess about 10 miles away from here, there's a wildlife thing. And every now and then they run around and it's, it's, it's possible to see bears around here. It's not uncommon. But like I said, I think, you know, being December, it's the middle of winter. So they're hibernating as well. So we probably won't see as many, but you know, watch out in the summer. You might just see one. Okay, this is the time I need to shut up now because I am rambling now. <laughs> I will talk to you guys again soon. I'm loving this. I'm lo I, I forgot just how much I love vlogging. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video so far and trust me, there's more to come. And even if this video in particular stops, in fact, I should actually do a multiple part video. Why not? In case I do actually decide to cut it off at some point, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Reaction videos are coming, but you know, we're getting acclimated with the move and stuff. You know, we're getting moved in. We still don't have internet and all that stuff, but yeah. Yeah, it's funny that I'm recording a video and I don't have internet, but I'm filming this stuff anyways because it's part of the journey. I'll see you guys later. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Hey guys, Pef Junkies Unite. Always remember. My name is Jeff. <laughs>